Rendezvous 4, and it is at, down here in Portland, Maine, and we'll just do a slow pan by on the starboard side. Boat's in good shape. It is, as you can see by the fill, diesel powered. We're just walking up the side decks here, kind of letting you see the side of the boat. Nice broad kind of Carolina flare to the foredeck and then in the forepeak, so it'll take rough water real well. These boats are known for that. And as we walk back down the starboard side, let's see, there's four rod holders per side. You have the recessed cleats, and we'll just step right aboard. Decent sized aft cockpit. The uh, boat has a fighting chair where they also are doing bait prep with it. And I'm going to kind of step up alongside the helm to give you an idea of how large the cockpit fish fighting area is. I will pan up to the helm seat, come around to the dash. Got dual, starboard, dual throttle controls to starboard, center mounted aluminum wheel. These look like Morse controls. Support. Your, gate, your instrument panel, EDO instruments. Oh, it's got right around 2,800 hours depending on the motor you're looking at. One's a little higher than the other. There's a cup holder to starboard. We've got lounge seats side for people to hang out and get out of the weather. The enclosure is in good shape. You can see all the eyes and glass. No rips or tears. The zippers look good. Overhead, you've got an ICOM VHF radio. Faruno navigation system and a data marine like it's a depth log and then your stereo remote control is below that so good use of space they didn't clutter up the dash too much I'm gonna climb up to the helm to the flybridge flybridge structure is reachable on either side you have aluminum towers reach it comes up to the hard top then you keep climbing up to the flybridge itself it's about a two to three person bench across the rear and the uh, wheel very similar to down below throttle to starboard compass in the center salt environment is done pretty well maybe some of the upholstery could be upgraded but overall it's in decent shape it's got plenty of gear on it so it's been used okay I just stepped off the flybridge that was my daughter you might have seen and the flybridge has rocket launchers on each side and it is a six-step ladder up to the hard top and then another three up to the bridge itself. You make your way forward on the side passageways. The uh, boat has a little bit of a tow rail and the rail is pretty wide so with non-skid should be able to get out here reasonably well. Once you're out front it's a broad area all covered in non-skid. The, just the side passages are covered in non-skid. You do have a uh, Lumar windlass with foot controls and your anchor locker with the insulation over your electronic controls. And you have three deck hatches to get you down below decks. And kind of 
little look back at the windshield and the uh, radar, which is a Bruno. Okay, I'm heading down below into the cabin. And as I said, the boat is in use right now, so he's got a decent amount of gear on it. When you come down to port, first thing you're going to see is your galley. And it's got, it looks like a Corian style countertop, twin burner stove, microwave oven and coffee maker, and twin sinks outboard basically starts as an L when you first come down to your left and wraps around to the port side. The GE fridge, it's, it's like the fridge and freezer are side by sides. Pretty straightforward. And then you've got storage underneath the sink. And in six drawers come over to starboard with the walk-in head with a pump out and a shower and you've got a sink and notice that there is no carpet anywhere in this head which is very good carpet and moisture do not get along settee or salon area, you've got a uh, port, small lounge, seat two to three people. Just above is a uh, Sylvania TV with a built-in VCR. Remember, it's uh, 1999. And then there's a uh, JVC stereo alongside, plus additional storage and side-by-side -side lockers. As you pan around to starboard, you've got another, berth, another lounge that will seat probably three people and then a one person bunk above that and it's nice that they do put a deck hatch to let some cooling air in for the person sleeping in that bunk. Forward is the master stateroom. You've got a large berth, looks like it's about a Queen Island berth. Deck hatch right overhead and then storage outboard to each side. And a nice decent sized hanging locker to starboard at the rear of the compartment. Again, the boat is in use and uh, the gentleman just uh, keeps stuff on. So. But that gives you an idea of what you're looking at in this boat. Just uh, picture it without the gear and uh, very seaworthy boat. Good diesel power. Could be a nice offshore vessel for the right person.